Hey everyone, and welcome to question one associated with the internal validity, external validity, and biases, the basics lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then come back and watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, a study is conducted to analyze the association between the lane of traffic that a driver decides to use and the risk of receiving a traffic ticket. The study population includes motorists on a specific stretch of freeway near downtown Los Angeles, and the researchers do not adjust for any confounders. And we're asked to name one threat to internal validity and one threat to external validity. So again, we remember that internal validity is basically, do we trust the results of the analysis? And in this case, um, and we remember that the three main threats to internal validity are selection bias, measurement bias, and confounding. In this specific case, I would be, um, you know, I would be uh, worried about potential confounding because, you know, these, these um, researchers were studying the relationship between um, like lane of traffic and seeing whether the lane of traffic leads to um, getting a traffic ticket. But as anyone who's driven on a road knows, an obvious confounder the, to this relationship may be driving speed. You know, in the United States, um, it's commonly known that the left-hand lane is where the people um, who wanna drive faster go, and the right-hand lane is often where the slower drivers go. So driving speed can affect the lane of traffic that's being used and could affect the risk of getting a traffic ticket. So by not adjusting for driving speed, I, potentially, I would potentially be worried about um, confounding in this relationship, and that would be a threat to internal validity. And I would have appreciated if the researchers had adjusted for driving speed, as that would have given me um, you know, higher confidence in their results and therefore higher internal validity. Then we remember that external validity is basic, basically what is the generalizability of the results, aka can they be applied to other populations? So can they be applied elsewhere? And remember that the two main ways that external validity can be um, threatened is if we're looking at a special population or if we're looking at some sort of special exposure or treatment. And in this case, I would specifically be worried about a special population. You know, this study was done in a stretch of freeway near downtown Los Angeles. And anybody who's been to Los Angeles knows that traffic can be pretty hectic there. Um, and therefore, I'm not confident that the results of this study, which again, are looking at lane of traffic use and the risk of you know, getting a traffic ticket, while it may be true in Los Angeles, I'm not sure whether it would be true if we apply it to um, you know, somewhere in the middle of nowhere where you know, people are uh, not fighting with each other and <laughs> there's not a lot of road rage going on. And therefore, I would potentially be worried about a lack of external validity in this case because they're specifically looking at a stretch of highway that's kind of known for um, fast and aggressive drivers. And that, you know, the study results may not apply um, to areas where the drivers aren't as aggressive or trying to rush. If you had trouble with um, this question, I recommend going back and rewatching the associated lecture. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.